Welcome riding buddies. This week we're going to have a look at the Gas Gas 65. My little mate Riley Ledinsky has allowed me to have a look at his 2021 model that he's just picked up. And I want to compare it, just check out what's different between all the other bikes. It is a new bike out, well sort of a new bike, um, a revamp of a, of a KDM and a, re, and a takeover name of a Gas Gas. We'll have a look at it and see what it's all about. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference between the KDM and the Gas Gas. The matte black rims actually do look really cool in person. The red frame sets it off and the red colour looks amazing. But technically there is no difference between the orange and the red bikes. The Gas Gas is missing an hour meter and the bar pad is different to on the KDM as well. But then again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. For Riley's first crack on his little Gas Gas 65, the members of the Toowoomba Motocross Club had the track absolutely mint out at Echo Valley. This video has actually turned into a look at Echo Valley as well. It is just such an iconic, awesome track. You've got to get out and check it out if you're ever anywhere near Toowoomba. So what I found, we're out here in Echo Valley with this practice day. We're a young kid out here on a WR250, just out having some fun. So, uh, sorry, what's your name? Cameron. Okay, so Cameron, you've walked up out here. You ever ridden Echo Valley before? No. no? You having fun? Yeah. 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 It's a great track, eh? Yeah. You really enjoy it. Yeah. Yep. The little WR250. You have a handful out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, great boy. Um, you're probably struggling a bit with some of the ruts and things. Yeah. It's a tough track, isn't it? Yeah. You're gonna come. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. You're gonna come back and have another track? Yeah, yeah. you reckon you might start racing? No. no? <laughs> it's sort of an off road for the guy. Mate, Marcio, here we are, ready, rocking around, having some fun. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks heaps for that, mate. So Echo Valley, it's just, anyone's rocking up, having a ride, we've got a, a young folly here on a WR250R, not even an X, um, Bueno, basically, having a ball. So this is some of the fun you can have at any motocross club around the country. You rock up out there on your WR250, even also too, you can turn up out there on your TTR 110 and have some fun. It's not about racing all the time. Okay, so riding buddies, we're here with Aaron Tanti, who is one of the Gas Gas factory riders in Australia. Um, I was watching in that first practice there, Aaron, and you're looking as though you're really adjusting to the Gas Gas so well. You're, you're enjoying it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I've um, got about three weeks on it now, so. I'm um, feeling really comfortable already and just trying to get in my motos now before round one, which is in about two months. So. Yeah, no, you're looking really good. So, so last year, you were on Yamaha. This year, you swapped to Gas Gas. Obviously, they, they've come to you with a good offer. You went to them with a good offer. I don't really want to know the background. It's sort of a bit private. But compared to the, the, uh, the Yamaha, how's it feel? Does it suit you better? Yeah, so... Obviously the last few years I was riding a 250, so this is a step up to me to ride the 450. Um, obviously changing to the Gas Gas, which is a Euro bike compared to a Japanese bike. Yeah, that's usually where people sort of find yeah. it so different. Yeah, you know, they're like the little features are different, like the different suspension and the hydraulic clutch and, you know, the steel frames. So, but to me, I've adjusted to it really well and I rode them as a junior and stuff, so it's a, it's a pretty good change for me. Yeah, I remember you on KDMs as, as juniors yeah. on 85s and stuff when we were, we were doing the New South Wales team together and, and you're always really quick on those and so obviously you're really enjoying it because you do, you look so good out there on it. The steel chassis compared to the alloy chassis of the Yamaha, can you actually feel it? Oh. As, um, as a pro, <laughs> as a pro, you're, you're one that I was sort of expecting to make feel yeah. But maybe they, they just feel very um, similar. They, like, there is like a big difference in like riding the Yamaha. I, I haven't really backed to back yet because the last time I rode my Yamaha was back in November, so I had a bit of a 
time off over December and before I even got this bike, so it was sort of hard for me to tell if there was a like, massive difference. But obviously, it's just topping on your bike, everything does feel different. The pegs, you know, the clutch and the way it works and like the, you know, the weight in the front end and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, best of luck for the... The 2021 Nationals. Hopefully it all goes ahead this year. Yeah, and it all happens. Yeah, yeah and um, best of luck. And no doubt we'll see you at Sunny States as well. You doing Sunny States? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do every Sunny State. So I think we get in two before round one. So that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Okay, so Riley's gone out on his, on his uh, new Gas Gas 65 for the first time and ridden the track here at Echo Valley. So, Riley, how is it? I know last year you were on a Kawasaki. How are you find the Gas Gas? Uh, a lot faster. A lot faster? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Kawasaki. How's the suspension on it? The suspension's probably not dialed properly yet for you, but is it feeling good? Yeah. yeah. Having a lot of fun on it, is that the main thing? Yes. A lot of fun? Yeah. So. What's your big plans for it this year? Are you going to do the Sunny States? Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure? Yeah. But you're going to do all the club days and stuff here at Echo Valley, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Anything else you like about the bike? What can you tell me? What do you like about it? Um, the suspension's better than the KX. Yeah. The um, the handlebars are way better. You like the riding position a lot better? Yeah. Because that'd feel a lot different, wouldn't it? Yeah. I also like the high quality. You like the hydraulic clutch, yeah. What about the brakes? They're better? Yeah, they're way better. Way better brakes, cool. Awesome. Thanks for that, mate. Talk to you next time, eh? Um, so now I've got Kieran Morrissey here, who is um, Riley's sponsor, shall we say? Yeah, definitely. I look after him a bit with bikes and stuff. Yep. The big differences between the Gas Gas and the KDM, what's the main difference? Well, the main difference is probably colour. <laughs> um, oh, it's pretty, it's faster, yeah, it's, it goes, it's, it's red, it goes faster. <laughs> There's there's not too much difference between the littler bikes. Uh, the KTM does come with um, a different cross pad and an hour meter, but overall it's mainly cutter, uh, color. Um, other than that, I haven't done full research into it yet. These things only just showed up pretty much on Friday, and uh, Riley got the very first one out of the shop. So it's, I'm yet to get into the real big differences, but um, as far as we can see and the specs that I've read, it's much much the same. Yeah, they do look the same, but. Uh, Riley seems to love it. I watched it. We did a bit of video footage of Riley out on the track there. And it, like, un unfortunately, I did video mainly his first lap, so he's sort of still <laughs> gelling into it. But I, I got back and watched him as he was going. And last year, he was riding the Kawasaki, which you guys were helping with that as well. Yep. Um, at uh, QB4. Yep. But I just noticed he looks a lot better on this. The bike just shaped better to the right. Yeah, so like the KTM group um, with both KTM and Gas Gas and Husky, uh, they have put a lot of technology into their smaller bikes, where the KX60, uh, the bike that does build champions, it's, it's been the same bike since I was Riley's age. Like uh, when the first KX60 come, uh, 65 come out, that was the bike I jumped on. Um, so it's roughly the same bike all the way from back in 2004 or 3, uh, all the way to 2020, which engine-wise is a brilliant strong bike. But when the KTM group brought out the KTM 65, Gas Gas 65, and I'll even show the Husqvarna 65 in there, they put a lot of their technology into their suspension and their engine. So over the years they complete, they keep developing their two-stroke engines where most manufacturers don't uh, develop their two-stroke engines anymore. They're too busy concentrating on their four-stroke engines. So it's, that's what you do see. Well, the KTM has won multiple Australian titles and they are up the front a lot uh, in, the, in the smaller 65 bot, uh, class because you can basically jump on a Gas Gas or a KTM and go race an Australian title, go race at Sunny States and go race club days and you don't have to do much to them. Yeah, that's that's one thing I've noticed. I've been, I've been around a lot of the junior racing over the last many years and the 65 class, 
The KX65 is a great little bike. Brilliant. Oh, Brilliant little bike. Engine is so strong. V4-3. It it's, awesome. it's had a pro circuit exhaust on it. And it's fast as. It's just the suspension does let it down, especially on a track like Echo Valley when the jumps are a lot bigger. Uh, it's a bit more high speed, so you are the kids are launching further and further. And the, and the brakes, the brakes on the on these on these Husky's KX gas gas. Yep. Are just so far ahead of the Kawasaki. They, they are in a way, like the, the Kawasaki brakes are always still pull you up and good brakes, but when the KTM Gas Gas and Husqvarna, uh, they run the formula brake, uh, brakes and as well as hydraulic clutch and it's all uh, it's all um, braided lines, so it just it does pull you up that little bit quicker, uh, I do believe, but overall both, all brands are really good bikes. Um, so we've just had to move because it was just far too much noise where we are doing the last lot of videoing, but um, Kieran, so been talking about the KX as well as the Gas Gas slash KM. What's the difference in price? Uh, I think the Kawasaki retails for 5.3 and then I think the KTM retails for 6.9 and these ones are around about the 6.7 I think on top of head. Don't quote me on that, it's just that's off the top of my head. So it's, I mean, it's around about that price point I believe. So it's, yeah, there's a little bit of difference between all, all the brands of bikes. Yeah, but that just goes to show the little, the little KX as we've already spoken about, it's not as refined as what the gas gas is. But there's a reason for it, it's a lot cheaper that way. So it it's a market thing. Yeah, it, it is a market thing. So like the KX65 is, like I said, they're a great bike. They are the bike that build champions. Um, but like it's, a, as a ready to race bike, like you probably want to spend just a couple of, like a thousand dollars or so on the suspension and a few other little things. If you're looking to go out and race a Queensland title or an Australian title straight out of the box, where like say the Gas Gas or the KTM, um, like the slow goes to get on the gas and ready to race, they're ready to go straight out of the box and you can go race these things. Yeah, that's, yeah, and that, that's the difference though. Yeah, yeah, that, that's probably the main difference between say the green one and the, and the red and orange one. Yeah. Um, also too, quick little one, Aaron Tanny. Yep, yep. Now factory gas gas. Yep, yep. As a, a dealer, yep. all gas gas, how how is that for you guys? We're, we're pumped to see Aaron get a ride with uh, Gas Gas Australia. Um, like just because, like Aaron's a really nice young lad. Uh, he's good with the kids. Like like you see before the kids over it's, there. Kids are running around everywhere after <laughs> him. Like, it's um, crazy. Yeah, so and he's really good with that. And, like best thing about Aaron, he puts everything in. Uh, as when he rides, you can see he puts his heart on the line and everything he's got. He trains like no tomorrow, so I, I think he'll he'll go really really well on that gas gas MC for Yeah, I think he's going to be really good on it. He was a fast kid on an 85, and he's oh, still definitely. fast. Like, like he's insane. Even last year when he was riding underneath Gab with Circo Yamaha, like if the Nationals did go ahead, like he's a guy I would have put my money on to win that series last year. Unfortunately, with coronavirus, they, they had to pull a pin on it. But um, yeah, I'll pump to see him step up to that MX1 class and and on the MC450 as well. So it's awesome to see. One quick other little question. Here we are at Echo Valley for a practice day. Yep. We've got Caleb Burrum. Yep. Pro. Yep. Admittedly, he's not far from here. He's just out of town. Aaron Tandy. Last weekend, another practice day, and we had like five top little pros there. Yeah. Like. You come to a practice day at Echo Valley and you don't know who's going to rock the boat. Yeah, like it's like a lot of the pros uh, do say, like Aaron and even Nathan Ford, who was here last week. As soon as they found out the track was fully prepped and ordered and deep ruts, they were like, there's no better place to come up and train. But that out there is probably one of the toughest and best motocross train, motocross tray and tracks. So it's, we get that out in one piece. But yeah, they, they do love riding this because it is fast, good jumps, deep ruts, and like, oh, I'm a big Echo Valley believer and I don't think there's a better training facility. Yeah, like if you can ride this place well, you can ride pretty much everywhere pretty well, I believe. Deep ruts, big jumps, it's fast. It's got fast and slow sections, tight ruts, like tight corners, wide open corners, so it's just got everything. And the big downhills, uphills. Yeah, so as locals, it's, it is that little bit of advantage. Um, yeah, when you come here, you've got that little bit of more confidence that you can hold it down the hills a bit compared to, say, people coming from Brisbane, the coast, and Coolum. So, but overall, it's, um, yeah, it's a great track to train on and, and race on. Cool. Okay, thanks Kieran. You're and, um, oh, yep. no, I'm done, yep. yeah. And um, we'll talk to you next time. Too easy. Thanks guys. Yeah, so that's a talk with uh, Kieran Morrissey, who is our local QB4 Gas Gas KDM Kawasaki dealer. Um, thanks to, to all the guys that have helped out. It's been an awesome day so far. 
so that's the Gas Gas 65, okay? It's not a lot different to the KDM. It's the same bike, basically, just the red plastics. So, if you're out there for anything, really, it's just a red KDM. But a great little bike. We don't need to even bother about the KDM 65. In that market, the KDM 65 is the benchmark, really, of the 65 market. So, um, yeah. That's the, K the Gas Gas 65. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you next time.